Welcome back to Fantasy Theory. I'm sure if you clicked on this video, you heard or saw the news about the suicide game that just came out and, of course, how it ended. So let's just jump right into this. Before we start, leave a like, drop a comment, let me know did you play this game and what you thought. Now, I have not played this game, just a disclaimer. I thought about playing the game, but after seeing the end and not really enjoying what I would end up doing, I figured why would I spend my money on this? The game follows Harley Quinn, Captain Boomerang, Deadshot, and King Shark. It, of course, follows well them killing the Justice League. This may not be the Justice League we love because they are all brainwashed by Brainiac, which is why maybe the studio thought it was a good idea to do what they did in-game. What did they do though? They killed the likes of Superman and Flash, which is forgivable because the characters were created specifically for this game, so us, the viewer, the gamer, have no connection to them and see them that they are just bad. But then we have Bruce Wayne. Batman. Why does this hurt so much? They made it clear that this Bruce Wayne is from the Arkham games we grew up loving. Yes, the same Bruce Wayne in all the Arkham games. And the worst part about it is voiced by Kevin Conroy. Kevin Conroy is known for his voice portrayal of Batman in cartoons and the games, and to many, he is the best Batman we've seen on screen. He sadly passed away on November 20th, 2022, and this was rumored to be his last voice role. So what happened? At the end of the game, the Suicide Squad put a bullet right into the mind-controlled Bruce Wayne's head, and that's it for the Batman we grew up loving. No heroic death to save a character, no anything. Just plain killed him after he was brainwashed. I even hear in the game he kills his son Robin. I don't know this whole game, like I said, I didn't and won't play it, but this is just BS. How did they think this would be a good idea? How did they think the fans would really react to this? Now fans are pissed and it's receiving a lot of negative reviews and rightfully so. I don't know if they can even retcon this in some way because this was one of Kevin's last portrayals as the character. I say one of because there is a rumor and this is a positive news that he voiced something, not sure if it's Bruce Wayne's Batman or another character for an upcoming Batman project. So retconning it may be out of the question here, which just sucks even more, because they can't obviously replace his voice, so what do we do from here? No one wants to see their hero we spent our childhood loving and playing as, and be told that exact character is just brainwashed and killed by these newbies we play as just in one game. This goes back to treating legacy characters correctly. Studios seem to have a hard time doing that in comparison to making their new characters rise up. If you set your existing, established, loved characters to be shit on, by new characters, chances are the majority of people won't like the said new characters because of this. It just sucks to have watched one of the best on-screen Batmans treated so poorly. This game has been perceived so, so, so differently if it came out and said this is not the same Batman. People would be happy with the game and interested rather than mad about their favorite hero being treated so poorly. Anyway, let me know if you played the game. I don't want to knowing this happens and it's a shame because this actually may be a really great game, but a lot of people won't get past the treatment of Batman and I completely understand that. Leave a like, drop a comment, and subscribe. I'll see you all in tomorrow's video. Thanks a lot for watching and have an incredible day.